Well, actually, um, it's been great for us. Initially, we saw huge crowds of people at the shop and panicked and thought, gosh, but we thought, this is great. We've got a thousand more people a day in the street opposite our shop. Um, and let's think of a way to get them into our business. We've got the perfect solution. So we've got a cafe upstairs, we serve drinks and food, and we decided to kind of give it a bit of a Harry Potter theme, if you like, so it would continue the experience for all these Harry Potter fans that are going to be coming to the Shambles probably for a long, long time. Could I have two buttery beers, please? Um, so buttery beer, as we have to call it, is primarily just cream soda, which is, is fizzy. It has a toffee sauce stirred into it, and it's topped with a whipped cream and some little uh, gold sprinkles on the top, So and served cold with chilled glasses. So it sounds a bit like an acquired taste for uh, children. Very sweet. It's very sweet, yeah, it's very sweet. It would definitely set you up for the day with your sugar, I'm sure. <laughs> You have no shortage of adults enjoying it. No, funnily enough, I'd say equal adults to children, yeah, yeah. You've, you've done that then, and the results have been quite phenomenal, haven't they, really? Yeah. I mean, you both think that the Harry Potter shop has injected some new life into the Shambles. Definitely, right? it's definitely, it's brought a, a real buzz to the Shambles, there's no question, and it's people, you know, we've spoken to people who have said they've actually come to York specifically to visit the shop, so it's not just the tourists that would be passing anyway who've noticed it. People are actually coming specifically to, to visit the shop and be there, and, and then, of course, they're in the Shambles and seeing all the other great um, independent stores that are here as well.